Come We're going to have some solid IFR. Let's use the resources. Yeah, CRM. That's right. What's the lowest you've flown on approach? Uh, 200. Oh, all right. That's how you do it. Yeah. That's, uh, it's not pleasant. It lights up the side. Yeah. There's 300 to go. I still do not have the runway. Nope. Number 430, Romeo, Romeo, Houston, Center, Roger. Okay, man, now this is flight level 380. Alaska 67, South of 2075, and then now maintain flight level 330. 330, South of 2075. Southwest 2075, I'm in altitude, maintain flight level 330. 330, Southwest 2075. I'll set the context up for y'all so y'all know what's going on here. Troy and I just finished up doing an angel flight with Randall, who is battling cancer for the fourth time in his life, and he's using the volunteer efforts of Troy through angel flight to get to MD Anderson near Houston to get the regular treatment he needs for his cancer. Definitely check out that video all about angel flight if you haven't yet. Randall is now in a car on his way to the medical facility to get the treatment he needs, and it's time to get back in the plane and head back to Midway Airport on the south side of Dallas. But we have some weather in our way. The following day is supposed to yield a pretty strong cold front with storms, so we opted to run Randall down to Sugarland today, and while we're not dealing with storms necessarily, low ceilings do prevail along our route. I went ahead and rolled cameras on this flight just in case something interesting happened on the way back to Midway, and I was happy that I did because we really utilized our instrument ratings on this one. Troy and I had some really good conversations conversations along the way about crew resource management and procedures as well, and I feel this is a super educational flight for the both of us. If you want to catch the full length cut of this flight, which is about an hour long, you can head over and see that on Cockpit Club, the link is down in the description. We start this video on the ramp at Sugarland Regional Airport in Sugarland, Texas, where Troy is about to pick up our IFR clearance to Midway Airport. Clear Sugarland Clearance Delivery, Skyline 855 Whiskey Hotel, at Global Select Information Juliet, IFR to Juliet, Whiskey Yankee. Okay, it's Skyline uh, 855 Whiskey Hotel, shooting around. I don't have a flight plan out on you just yet. Let me check this just to see where you're at. Okay, I wonder if it went under Angel Flight 5269, which is what we came in as, so I can refile. Okay, I've got my Angel Flight uh, 5269 flight plane, if that's where you are. You ready to copy? Uh, we are, but can you change that to 855 Whiskey Hotel? We're no longer an Angel Flight. We're ready to copy. Okay, I'll make that change for you. Scarlene, uh, 855 Whiskey Hotel, should then ground clear to Juliet Whiskey Yankee Airport. Uh, Beltway 6 departure, quiet transition, Rico Tree arrival, direct. Maintain uh, 2,000, expect 8,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency, 123.8, squawk 2524. Okay, 855 Whiskey Hotel, we're cleared to Juliet Whiskey Yankee, Beltway 6, Cried, Rico 3, direct, 2,000, 8,000 after 10, 123.8, Colleen, uh, 5 Whiskey Hotel, we're back, correct. And 855 Whiskey Hotel, we're ready to taxi for 17, uh, with Juliet. That's Colleen, uh, 5 Whiskey Hotel, uh, there's a challenging jet coming into the parking in the uh, south ramp, just uh, give way to him and runway 17 taxi via mic. Okay, give way to the Challenger 17 via mic, 5 Whiskey Hotel. All right, everything look good to you? Everything looks good. Scotland uh, 5 Whiskey Hotel, turn right heading uh, 240, maintain 2000 runway 17, clear for takeoff. Heading 240 up to 2000, cleared for takeoff 17, 855 Whiskey Hotel. Well, we got out in front of the jet. Yes, Thank to his little uh, hold. Okay, Thanks. mixtures full. We got strobes, landing lights. Taking a look down final, right? Yeah. Trust but verify. In the words of Ronald Reagan. Exit uh, 658, uh, 658, go ahead. Yes, sir. I did the coordination for you. Maybe landing after dark, too. It's going to make it an interesting approach. Uh, control departure time now. We'll is going to right cross with the direction. 2250. Time now 2218. Okay, 2250. Uh, can we taxi back to the uh, ramp? All right, that jet uh, 658. Uh, uh, you can do that. Uh, now, they may uh, change your departure time. That's very possible. Uh, if you like to do that, uh, enter the runway at 
at Lima and back taxi down the road. God Amber's coming on. Here's coming okay, Eric. Is that okay if we just up. pull up here and shut down and just sit here with the APU running for so 400 feet yeah. before we start that trip? Yeah, you can do that. Just pull up as far as you can to your right there as not to block uh, access to the runway as much as possible. And in the water. Yeah, hotel contact, Houston departure. Over to Houston, Angel Flight 5269. <laughs> November 855, Whiskey Hotel. I'll get it. Yeah, we're getting that. You too. <laughs> Houston, November 855, Whiskey Hotels off Sugar Land, hitting 240 out of 1100, climbing 2000. November 855, Whiskey Hotel, use departure order contact, climb and maintain 4000. 4000, Angel Flight. Huh. November 855, Whiskey Hotel, old habits die hard. No problem. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yep. November 5, Whiskey Hotel, contact departure on 132.25, we'll get you going towards Cry here soon. 3225. November 855 Whiskey Hotel. 3225. That's one way you could help me, is listen for the frequencies and too. Okay. Button. Yeah, I was listening for it. And if you want me to do radios too, I can do that. Yep, that's fine. You gotta push okay. the talk right there. They're yours. Cool. Houston Skyline 855 Whiskey Hotel 4000. Skyline 855 Whiskey Hotel, Houston approach. The umbrella altimeter 29 or 89. 89 or 5 Whiskey Hotel. Thank you. Uh, we're going to have some solid IFR. Let's use the resources. Yeah, CRM. That's right. That's a, that's a video that I want to do sometime soon. Oh, yeah. You know, about, you know, CRM isn't just for the jet pilots. No, it's not. Might as well utilize it. Absolutely. A 5 Whiskey Hotel heading 360. 360, 5 Whiskey Hotel. 6 9 to center maintain 2000. Beat my hand down here when I hear my name. <laughs> You're the man. I do the same thing. That's why, like, when you got your clearance, I... You had to kind of sit on my hands because I'm like so tempted to put in the squat code and put in your departure frequency. <laughs> I pointed at it, like, go ahead. But then I was like, eh, you said I was, and then you didn't do it, so it's okay. We hadn't talked yeah. about it. So. Right, right, that, and that's why. Yeah, I, I, I respect I, that. I Thank try you. to not be this that CFI that just gets handsy and starts touching do, crap. Doing <laughs> what you, well, and that could be a problem, right? Where you, right. The, the other guy thinks it hasn't been done, or you think it has, but the other person, right. you're disconnected. Exactly, or they get used to the CFI doing it. Right. You know. Or if you set a frequency, I mean, it's, it's like the exchange of controls. There's that verbalization. Like that I should confirm. 4, I said, three, did he say 359 or 360? Right. 360, right? right? That's what he said. So verbalizing that, it caught the air. Exactly. Five uh, Whiskey Hotel, proceed direct to Cried. Direct Cried, Five Whiskey Hotel. So what As we get closer, let's look at what's going on with the other weather and predetermine what our plan will yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've got a flashlight right here. Cool. Not a D-cell, but... <laughs> and then, of course, we have the lights in our phones. Yeah, I've oh, got a flashlight in my flight bag back there, too. Start sneaking up on it. Got it. Oh, yeah, we're on top. And five Whiskey Hotel, tops 4,400, clear above. Our five Whiskey Hotel, Roger, thank you. What's the lowest you've flown an approach? Uh, 200. Oh, all right. That's how you do it. Yeah. That's, uh, it's not pleasant. Oh, I remember that video. Was that the one where you went to Addison? Is it that uh, one? That no? was actually one of them, yeah. yeah. Uh, the you were hand flying it. Uh, yeah. Me too. <laughs> yeah, I've hand flown all of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, but uh, and you need to be prepared too. So that's right. an important discussion too. We got a great autopilot; it's a good tool. Yeah, and you shouldn't be launching into these conditions using this if you're not prepared to hand fly it. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So let's talk through something for this approach. The one thing that this doesn't have is you can't set minimums. Right. And so it's not going to call that you're right, at minimums. And in fact, because it's an LPV approach, we will have the altitude the alert here set for where we want to go on the mist in case we got to go mist. So it's really crucial that we're counting down, you know, a thousand to go. If I we're monitoring that because it would be very easy to let it just drive you into the ground. Gotcha. I did notice you do that too, and, I, and that made me happy. Every now and then you push the heading sink. I do it for two reasons. One is it helps me keep track of what the winds, how the winds are changing as right. we go, right? I mean, that worked for now, but after a time, you know, if it's if it's moving to the left, I'm getting more of a crosswind from the left because it's right. vice versa. But also, if 
GPS field or something, I can quickly go into heading mode. Right. Or if you get a quick vector, you can hit heading, and it's not going to start turning the opposite direction that you want or whatever. 100%. I always tell my dad, leave no bugs unattended. Absolutely. You don't want to be going this way and have that bug over here, right. unless you're expecting that turn. Exactly. Okay, our backup plan will be the uh, RNAV-3 one into Redbird. So the, the winds there, right now they're overcast 600, so that's good. Whiskey Hotel, contact Fort Worth Center, 126.72. 26.72, 5 Whiskey Hotel, good night. Yeah. 26.72. Fort Worth Center, Skylane, 855 Whiskey Hotel, level 8000. 855 Whiskey Hotel, Fort Worth Center, Dallas, Fort Worth, Altimeter, 29899. 895 Whiskey Hotel. When we get switched over to 25-2, that'll be our final controller. I think I said that already, but just, I'm thinking ahead. Yeah. Number 5 Whiskey Hotel, cross dodge, add maintain 4,000. Cross dodge, add maintain 4,000, 5 Whiskey Hotel. There's 400, so we're going to do 4,000, and if you'll let them know we're vacating 8. Yeah. yeah 5 Whiskey Hotel vacating 8,000. Number 5 Whiskey Hotel, Roger. All right, let's go into approach mode as a crew. Right. Uh, especially since we're going to be going IMC now. And with a sterile cockpit. Sterile cockpit, unless we you know, see something wrong, call it out. For sure. Okay, hey, we're out of 5.4. That's it, whistle. And center 5 Whiskey Hotel tops are 5,400. And from our 5 Whiskey Hotel, connect regional approach 125.2. 25.2, 2, 5 Whiskey Hotel, thanks. That's your final controller. All we right. Weather and notams. Regional approach, Skylane 855 Whiskey Hotel, 5000 descending 4000. We have the weather and notams at Midway. 855 Whiskey Hotel, regional approach, stay approach request at Midway. Going to be uh, asking for the RNAV runway 18. 5 Whiskey Hotel. 5 Whiskey Hotel, Ryder. What was it for uh, 48? Zulu, 210, altitude 4000. 210, 4000, southwest 48. 5 Whiskey Hotel, fighting a 330. 330, 5 Whiskey Hotel. South 1956, reduce speed to 210, so to maintain 4000. Five whiskey hotel, so to maintain three thousand. Down to three thousand, five whiskey hotel. About forty eight, hundred and seventy or better to low speed. Tower one two three point seven, good day. One seventy or better to nature. I see three thousand. I see three thousand. Nineteen fifty six, make speed one seven zero. Little one seventy, nineteen fifty six. Whiskey hotel, turn left heading two six zero. Two six zero five whiskey hotel. Yeah, there it is. Procedure. Activate approach. So we want activate vectors yep. to final, right? Yeah. There we go. Now we got that. Five you to you're five miles from the final approach fix. Turn left heading two zero zero. Maintain three thousand until it's seven from the final first course. Cleared RNAV runway one eight approach midway. Two zero zero. Maintain three thousand. Cleared for the RNAV one eight midway. Eight five five Whiskey Hotel. I've activated the approach. Great. So it'll capture it. Perfect. Flight path is enunciated. Three thousand until we're there, and then we can go down to twenty six. Heading 220 for 2340. Number 5 Whiskey Hotel, change 5 seconds to approve. Advisor will cancel on the phone, 5 Whiskey Hotel. Or we'll come back to you, right? Or we'll come back to you. <laughs> 22975. Alright. Midway traffic, Skylane 855 Whiskey Hotel, approximately an 8 mile final for runway 18. We're on the RNAV approach. We'll be a full stop midway. Fuels on both cow flaps are open. Here comes the mixture. Here comes prop full for the go around. Here comes the glide path. We're one mile to go. Here comes the gear. We're at gear speed. I'm guarding the controls in case anything lets go. I can feel what's happening. Okay. Gear pumps off. Here comes flaps 10. All right. And on the gear, I see a green and two gear out this mirror. Thank you. I got a wheel too. Okay. Out of 24 for 9.30. And as we get a little closer, I like to give it seven clicks again just to make sure those lights are on. Absolutely. It really sucks when you get down there and they're not on. Midway traffic, Skylane 855 Whiskey Hotel, about a three mile final for runway 18 will be a full stop midway. Five hundred to go. Your eyes are outside, I'm inside. Yeah, I'm looking for the runway. Four hundred to go. Huh? Getting lights up the side. Yeah. There's 300 to go. I still do not have the runway. Nope. Oh.
600 to go. I got the runway. 100 to go. You have the runway. I got the end wow. in sight. Runway's in sight. Runway's in sight. There comes 20. Ears down. Ears down. Airplane's configured. Uh, Gumpsy, right? Kill the yacht amber. That's going to go in the books as one of the lowest approaches I've ever yeah, been a part too. of. <laughs> Thanks for grabbing those. Yeah. So, Troy, what do you think about that approach and that, that flight as a whole? I've done an approach down to 400 before. And so that wasn't a problem. It was forecast to be 400. But we hit 400 and we called 400 and we weren't seeing anything. Right. You know, so uh, and we called 300. We weren't seeing anything. Yep. 200 to go. We're not seeing yep. anything. 100 to go. Oh, there's the lights. Mm. I'm really grateful that we came in on 1-8 mm -hmm. that had those runway and identifier lights. I think that helped you spot it's that. It's what I saw first. So much it's first. what I saw first, yeah. And then it was almost like, it was almost instantaneous. Then I saw the rest of the runway lights. But it really helps you know where to look. But hey, procedures work. This is fun because it teaches that you're training, right? Right. Um, that's what this is for. This That's is why it. we go get an instrument rating is so we can get home. And hey, if we didn't get in here, we had a backup. Plan. That whole thing is a good demonstration of working as a crew. You were glued to the instruments. I had my eyes glued outside trying to find the lights. Right. Um, and meanwhile, that helpful. yeah. Oh, absolutely. When you have a second pair of eyes, because you can stay on the instruments and you were sitting there counting down every hundred feet. I was ready to toe up button. Push I, I was ready for you to do up. it. Here we go. And I thought. Uh, I was starting to think, we might not be getting in. Right, yeah. It, it was definitely, low. I mean, it was right down to minimums. And we got in, got on the phone, canceled, so we're good to go there. But uh, yeah, that was interesting. Fun stuff. We talked about a lot of cool stuff too, like habits and all that. We'll go fly an angel flight together again? Yes. Great. I'm totally down for that. Awesome. Absolutely. Thanks, man. We'll do it again. Yep. This flight was definitely more technical in nature, but it had so many valuable tidbits that were definitely worth sharing. That approach is definitely going in my logbook as one of the lowest I've been a part of. I caught the reels or the runway end identifier lights, which are the strobes on either side of the threshold about 100 feet above the decision altitude. That is technically part of the runway environment, so that's why I called the runway in sight at that point. It's the end of the runway. Those strobes are there to really pierce through the fog and mist specifically for these conditions so you can get the runway in sight as early as possible. Of course, having a full set of Mauser approach lights or something is a totally different story, but this particular runway is not equipped with those. It wasn't until right at the decision altitude that the rest of the runway lights started to emerge out of the mist. Needless to say, this approach was about as low as you can go, but we made it in. And Troy and I worked really well as a crew to make that happen. If you wanna see the full length version of this flight, which is about an hour in length, you can check it out on Cockpit Club. These are super educational for even myself to watch over again and debrief, so definitely check out those full length videos on Cockpit Club club if you're interested. If you like the video, be sure and hit like and subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, I want you to stay happy, healthy, and current, but most importantly, stay proficient. Go out and get some instrument proficiency in your logbook. That proficiency makes flights like these so much safer. We'll see you in the next video. Fly safe.